Welcome to our lecture online and welcome to the next JE main question and I was very surprised to see this, this type of question on a JE main test because typically high school students are not supposed to know these types of logic gates. Usually that's something you see in a beginning uh, lecture engineering course perhaps. But yes, here it is. And what they're asking us to do is they give us the following logic circuit right here and they're asking us which of these four circuits has the same result or is effectively the same as the circuit up here. And so you have to understand the logic gates and how they operate and how they operate together in a circuit like this. So here we have the five gates that we should know. We have the NOT, the AND, the NAND, the OR, and the NOR and you have to know how they work. Now this of course was not given to you in the question that's why I put it in blue color. That was the only thing that was given but let's go through this for a moment. A NOT gate Whatever the input is, the output will be the opposite. If you have a high going in, you end up with a low. A low going in, you end up with a high. So not simply means the other. And means that they both have to be high for a high to come out. And then means that it's not the case. So if it's not both, a positive will come out. So it's exactly the opposite of this. The OR gate means one or the other must be high in order for high to come out and the norm means that not one or the other must be high so again it's the exact opposite of the OR gate. So how do you go to these circuits and determine how you're going to set them equal to each other? Well since there's two inputs the top input can be a 1 or a 0 so we have a 1 and I'll have it twice and a 0 twice because for this one we can have a 1 and for this one we can have a 0 for this 0 we can have a 1 for this 0 we can have a 0 so there's four different combinations of inputs you can have in that circuit and then let's work through the circuit to see what would happen notice that nothing is in the way from here to here so that would be input to the OR gate and on this side notice that this is a NOT gate so if it's a 1 then this becomes a 0, if it's a 0 this becomes a 1 so this turns into a 0, a 1, a 0 and a 1. So if this is 1 and this is 0 the OR gate will turn this into a 1 because you only need one or the other. If this is a 1 and this is a 1 then you get a 1. If this is a 0 and this is a 0 then you get a 0 and if this is a 0 and this is a 1, you get a 1. So the output of the OR gate will be 1101. 1, 1. And since you now have a NOT gate, it will turn everything around. So you end up with a 0, a 0, a 1, and a 0. So that's the output to see which of these four circuits will give you the exact same result. Well, we do the same kind of process. We start with a 1, 1, 0, 0, a 1, 0, 1, 0. Notice with the NOT gate, this becomes a 0, 1, 0, 1. And now this is a NAND gate. So how does a NAND gate work? It works exactly the opposite of an AND gate. That means not AND. That means if they're both, and, if they're both high, you end up with a, uh, normally, so if they're both high, you would end up with a high if it was an AND gate. But since it's an AND gate, when they're both high, you end up with a, a low over here. So. 1 and 0 is when you add them together you get 0 but since it's an AND you get a 1. A 1 and a 1 that would give you a 1 but since it's an AND that gives you a 0. A 0 and a 0 well that gives you a 0 if it's an AND but a 1 if it's an AND and a 0 and a 1 gives you 0 if it's an AND so a 1 if it's a an AND. Notice that this doesn't give you the same output as that so A is not one of your solutions. Alright, let's do the same for the next circuit. So again we go 1, 1, 0, 0 and here we get 1, 0, 1, 0. The NOT gate will turn everything around so you get 0, 0, 1, 1. Here you still have 1, 0, 1, 0 and here you have an AND gate which means both need to be correct or both need to be high to get a high coming out. So a 1 and a 0 gives you 0. A 0 and a 0 gives you 0. A 1 and a 1 gives you a 1 and a 0 and a 1 gives you a 0. Notice that's the exact same as what we have over here. This matches this, so that means that 2 is a possible answer. At this point, you'd simply stop. 2 is the answer and you will move on. For 
But for the sake of learning how to do this, let's do the other two and also guarantee that they also don't offer the correct solution. So again, we have 1100, 1010. This is a uh, NOT gate, so this turns this one into a 0011. This is an AND gate, that's the same as this one over here, opposite to this one. So we have a 0 and a 1, with an AND gate you get 0, but with an AND gate you get a 1. A 0 and a 0, with an AND gate you get 0, but with an AND gate you get a 1. A 1 and a 1, with an AND gate you get 1, but with an AND gate you get 0. And a 1 and a 0, with an AND gate you get 0, with an AND gate you get 1. So again, notice this, it's not the same as that, so that is not a correct answer. Finally, the last circuit. Oh, wait a minute. I drew these two exactly the same. I think I made a mistake. Oh, I drew the wrong circuit for my fourth circuit. But actually, what I should have drawn is a NOR gate. So two inputs to a NOR gate. So there we go. There's my NOR gate. There's my C. There's my A and B. And now let's do this again, but with the correct circuit. So we have 1100. So with a NOR gate, you need one or the other to be true to get a high. With a NOR gate, it's the other way around. So a 1 and a 1 for an OR gate, say yes, that would be 1, but that would give this a 0. A 1 and a 0 with an OR gate would be 1, but with an OR gate will give you 0. A 0 and a 1 with an OR gate that would give you 1, but with a NOR gate gives you 0, and a 0 and a 0 with an OR gate gives you 0, but with an OR gate gives you 1. And notice that this is not the same as that, so therefore 4 was also not a correct solution, which leaves you only with 1, which is circuit number 2, which looks exactly the same in effect as what we get with the circuit that was given. So that's how it's done. The way I look at NAND gate and NOR gates is simply it gives you the opposite of what an AND and an OR gate gives you. That's the best way to look at it. And a NOT gate simply turns everything around. A 1 becomes a 0 and a 0 becomes a 1. And that's the best way to look at it to work yourself through the circuit. But uh, again, a bit of a surprise that they would put something like this on a JE main test because that requires you to understand logic gates. So now you know to prepare for the JE main test you should also take a look at the basics of how to work with logic gates. And that is how it's done.